Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Bees Bites. Today, this episode is brought to you by Crazy Egg Bait Company. Um, we're going to talk about, you know, some of the stuff that he carries, uh, different ways I rig them, uh, different ways to fish them, stuff like that. So uh, should be a good episode. I think you guys will get quite a bit out of it. Um, and at the end of the, the video, uh, if you guys go down into the description down there, you'll have a link to the website so you can go check it out for yourselves. But great prices, great product. I uh, can't say enough about the guy. Um, he's taken really good care of me over the past couple of years, uh, and I appreciate everything that he does. So let's get into it. So uh, first thing I kind of want to talk about is a new product that he's carrying. Uh, these are called the uh, Point Guards. So basically, when you have a rig that is not necessarily meant to be weedless, uh, this is a really good way for you to make it weedless. So here's what they look like. Just little pieces of rubber. You break one off. They look like that. So I'll show you how to rig it. So let's say you've got a soft plastic worm that you don't want to rig weedless for whatever reason. Uh, let's say you got a Ned rig. You, um, maybe not a Ned rig because the head's a little bit big, but you could do it around the eye, I suppose. Um, you just take your standard uh, straight shank or wide gap hook, whatever you want to do. You've got this little hole that's right at the top of it. Slide it over the top of the eye. It's kind of hard to do when it's that far away from you. So now it's just hanging there. Take this. I just stretch it down just a little bit. And now you've got a weedless worm hook. That pushes away really easy when the fish bite. So really, really slick product. Again, it's called the uh, Point Guard. They come in packs of 10. Uh, pretty darn slick. Uh, these are black. I'm sure he makes other colors. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty cool little product. Um, what else we got here? We've got the Smack Snacks. These are in a sparkling smoke. Just a little swim bait. You know, I use these on obviously just regular swim bait heads. Um, I'll open them up. So you, actually, I won't open up because I'm going to give them away at the end of this video. Um, uh, just on a regular swim bait head. Um, I use them on chatter baits, uh, spinner baits. There's any number of things that you can rig these up on. Uh, these are three and a half inch. Really nice size, nice body, swim really well in the water. Uh, really good action. So pretty darn cool there. Um, probably my favorite product he makes overall. Uh, I use more of these, uh, probably than, uh, well, maybe the next one I use equally as much, but these are the pig sticks. Uh, it's basically a Senko. Uh, these come in 10 packs or you can get them in bulk. Um, I think 50 packs, if, if memory serves me correct. These are five inch in a green pumpkin. Really durable plastic. Just fish catching monsters. In the last video that I put out, uh, the wife was throwing that only in a midnight blue, uh, which is one of my favorite colors. Um, my next favorite one, I will open these because I think I've got another bag of these uh, downstairs that I'll give away. These are the Dexty Doos, named after his dog. Uh, three and a half inch. Here's what they look like. It's just got this little flat paddle tail type deal. So there's a couple of different ways you can use this. So you can use it as just a plain uh, Texas rig flipping style. Um, you know, another way I like to use it is on a, on a jig. So on a regular jig body, full body jig uh, as a trailer. Uh, but mostly when it's, you know, the water's cooler um, and you don't want a lot of action on your trailer, right? Uh, this is something that, you know, you go back and forth on throughout the year between um, what bodies you throw on a jig or a chatter bait, uh, stuff like that. Colder the water, obviously. Fish don't have a whole lot of action. They're moving slow. Uh, and these fill that gap absolutely perfectly. Um, but I'll fish this on a, just a Texas rig, uh, straight shanked hook, just flipping into grass or flipping into brush. Uh, I'll put it on, um, you know, just a regular full body jig. Uh, you can rig it up on a chatter bait. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways you can fish this, but this is one of my favorites that he makes next to the pig stick. Uh, we'll give a bag away of, 
a bag away. We'll give a bag away at the end of this video uh, as well to some lucky viewer. The next one is one he just started making, I think last year, maybe towards the end of last year, um, the Helgramite. So a lot of different companies make these, but I really, really like these. He calls them the Peach Bugs. Uh, they're a three inch. This is, uh, the color is June Oil. They smell fantastic. But a really nice uh, uh, Helgramite imitator. So a couple ways I fish this, uh, really two ways. So one is off a drop shot. Uh, they work really well off a drop shot. And then the other way is Ned Rig. Um, they're deadly on a Ned Rig. Uh, probably one of the, aside from uh, the, the bum Neds that he makes, which I don't have any with me throughout my boat. Um, but uh, probably my two favorite things to throw on a Ned Rig. I love the Helgramites. And these come in packs of uh, six. Any color you can think of, he's got. Uh, next one up, I'm just opening up all these bags. I've got all these open already in the boat, but I'll just add to the other bags. This is the uh, classic, just a classic uh, curly tail worm. Again, he calls it just a classic worm. These are seven inch in watermelon. Really nice tail, really nice action. Got a little plastic shard on there. Um, you know, for these, uh, Texas rig with uh, with just a tungsten weight is probably the best way to fish them. Uh, throwing them out on a Carolina rig is another really good way. Um, but just your traditional curly tail worm. Lots of action in that tail. Um, and this time of year, it's uh, it can be deadly, uh, fished out deep off some ledges or whatever. Uh, and then the last one we're going to talk about is the floating treat worm. Uh, again, this is another one. Uh, I'm opening this bag. I am going to give this bag away because I don't think I have any unopened bags left. Open this up. This is the five inch in a pumpkin seed. Again, a really good drop shot bait. Um, that's about the only way I fish these. You could probably Texas rig it, do whatever you want, but um, you know, uh, you could Nico rig it uh, and fish it a lot like you do a wacky rig. Um, but another really good, uh, really good worm. And these come in, uh, um, I think this was a trial pack or something he sent me. Uh, I don't know, there's probably 20 in there. Uh, so we'll give that away at the end too. Um, but you know, he carries a whole bunch of different plastics that I didn't show you. Um, just a cool, uh, cool dude, great company, uh, really high quality stuff. And I promise you, you cannot beat the prices. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give away all of this stuff. Uh, I'll just give you the bags that I opened. You saw me open them. Um, we'll give you a bag of the treat worms, bag of the classic worms, the Helgramites, mites, the Dexty Doos, a uh, bag of the pig sticks, and I'll give you two bags of the smoke snack or the smack snacks in the sparkling smoke. That is a tongue twister. And I'll throw in the um, the point guard, uh, little soft plastic weedless uh, hook guards. Um, here's the stipulation. Got to share the video. Got to comment. Done. Got to like the video. And you got to invite someone to the page or to the YouTube channel. Um, I'll do this giveaway when we hit 600 subscribers. We're at uh, 532 right now, um, and we're in a hard push to get to 1,000. So uh, I'll give you all that stuff. I'll ship it to you free, um, but you got to do that. So comment, like, get somebody to subscribe, and uh, in your comment, just, just write done. Just simple as that. Uh, did I say it all? Comment done, like the video, share it and uh, get somebody to subscribe. Once I hit 600 subscribers, I'll give away all that stuff and I'll throw in a few other things. Maybe I'll throw in some stuff from a Monster Bass box. Um, maybe I'll order some uh, neck gaiters from Elite Angler uh, and throw one of those in for you. Uh, the rest of it will be a surprise. So uh, once again, I, I, I just wanna thank everyone for what they've done for the channel so far. 
Um, you know, we've got 30, almost 34,000 views, uh, which is pretty darn cool and a heck of a lot more than I would have thought we would have gotten um, for the amount of time I'm able to put into this, right? Uh, but I'm committing to put out a video uh, five days a week about something. Uh, I think uh, tomorrow's video will talk about uh, some of my favorite jerk baits, uh, how I like to fish them, uh, just because that's probably my favorite way to fish, uh, period. Um, but uh, again, thanks guys. Uh, appreciate you tuning in. We'll talk to you soon.